<laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so happy. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, today, I actually have... I, I'm actually probably going to make it into Master Ball tier. I played like five, four, a, a certain amount of games. I can't remember how many games. Uh, off camera. And I, I just had time at the end of the day. And I was like, okay, I'll, let's play some games to get into Master Ball tier. I didn't have time to actually get into Master Ball tier, but we're probably going to get into it today. Uh, after having like no time to play off camera. Uh, but... We're using this team that me and a subscriber of mine named Jay Stewart built in a coaching session, which you guys can reserve if you guys want to get a coaching session with me. Uh, info on, on that is in the Discord, which is linked in the description. But today we're using this team with the rental code uh, on screen, so you guys don't ask. And the team is built around um, slow minimum speed Rillaboom plus Tyranitar with the weakness policy. And the whole point of this is uh, Rillaboom with zero speed. Uh, speed ties with Indeedee female, which means that if they're not running absolute minimum speed, like zero speed, zero IV, negative nature, um, then we will get our grassy surge up second, meaning that we don't have to worry about uh, having to switch in uh, Rillaboom to remove the psychic terrain to fake out. And also, we are running Bulldoze on the Rillaboom as a tech option to deal minimum damage to the Tyranitar while still having a super effective option, lowering its speed stat, doubling its attack stat, and allowing us to click Lash Out with double power. Uh, besides that, it's a Trick Room team with uh, Frisk, Evil Light Dust Clops with Nightshade and Bulldoze on it uh, to help proc the weakness policy or not nightshade i just said nightshade because i was reading it wrong but <laughs> with bulldoze as the other option to proc the weakness policy but the star of this team is tyranitar so yeah if you guys enjoy this at any point in time leave a like subscribe to the channel turn on notifications and comment what is your favorite new move in the isle of armor dlc i i cannot decide like honestly or what do you no 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 don't comment that comment what do you think is the worst move because i think i might have asked this question already what is the worst move in the isle of armor dlc Personally, I feel as though it's Misty Explosion, at least for doubles. There aren't very many situations where you get to use it in doubles unless you're running that Passimian strategy. But yeah, uh, we are nearly in Master Ball rank. <laughs> we're like almost there, so we're probably going to get into it with like two games. And then the last game will be a Master Ball game, if, as long as I don't like lose. And wow, I lost points. How did I lose points? Guess I'm just bad at the game. <laughs> but yeah, uh, here's the team. And I, I actually like this team quite a bit. We were using it on Showdown, and he and I got a ton of wins. It was a really fun team to pilot, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, I have finals next week. I'm really excited to finally be done with classes, but also very stressed. Very, very stressed. So what we have here is a hard, hard Trick Room team with a real boom option uh, and a Raconid, which is going to be scary. I I'll be honest, it is a very scary team. Hmm. I would say versus this team, Tyranitar is one of our best options. However, um, we have to be really careful with the Araquanid and with the Conkeldur because they can really put the hurt on Tyranitar. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to lead off Tyranitar plus Rillaboom and hope that I get the speed tie win uh, because if my grassy terrain goes up second, that's an amazing lead. Togekiss seems like a given just because it's uh, really good for redirecting all the super effective hits, uh, especially versus the Conkeldur and the Rillaboom. And I think my last Pokemon, I kind of want to go Primarina because it it's able to hit <laughs> it's able to hit the um, Conkeldur for super effective damage and just soak up special attacks. However, I'm also tempted to go Incineroar just because it gives me some amount of fake out pressure. Eh, it's probably Primarina. Primarina is probably the the best option here. And also, if they decide to not go Trick Room for some strange reason, uh, we're able to deal with that. You know, it's 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 gonna be a good time. All right, Bone Apple Tea. <laughs> I just realized that their name was that stupid meme. <laughs> Bone Apple Tea. They're serving up fresh Araquanid. They're serving up pain. Dustclops Hatterene. All right, so, um, I had the option of just giving myself my weakness policy immediately. To be honest, I have the fake out. I have everything I need. I think it is my main priority to remove the damage dealers from that side of the field. And one of my main priorities should probably be that Hatterene. Um, considering th they have no defense to play. Hatterene doesn't typically run protect, I believe. So I can actually just... Yep. And yep. It's time to click the move. Turn one. We get to see this beautiful animation. Uh, because the first thing moving should definitely be this, uh, this boy. And please let it be something I'm weak to. It's the Indeedee. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I was going to say, I would love to remove 
whatever in week two immediately. Uh, however, the Indeedee is likely going to take the hit, uh, but that Sand will knock it out. And the reason it's going to take the hit is because Focus Sash is really common on Indeedee. It would have been so cool if I removed the Dust Clops immediately. That would have been so, so gangsta. Alright, but this... Oh no, it's not going to take it because the Bulldoze damage. I'm stupid. Anyways, uh, this Indeedee is just gonzo. Like, immediately destroyed. Destroyed by facts and logic. <laughs> What a beautiful move. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. And also, we just got a follower on Twitch. I don't know why that's still open. Thank you, Twitch follower. Uh, Chuck Heroes. <laughs> Thank you for following me on Twitch, I suppose. Let me see. Um, am I slower than Hatterene now at minus one speed? I gotta double check. PokemonShowdown.com. PokemonShowdown.com. Let me look at this. I gotta do the math. I don't think I am. Oh, there's the Conkle Dunk. Um, I should be able to avoid this by protecting. Yeah, I'm going to protect here, because I can take the hit. And I should always go into Togekiss. Yeah, Togekiss probably is my best option. Or maybe Primarina, just... Mm, eh, mm, me, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go Togekiss, just because it should be able to come in. Unless they have Ice Punch, and then I just get Nainate on. Because we ever need the Crit Kiss option. I can essentially give him an ultimatum where it's like, all right, who are you going to knock out? Toekus or the uh, or the plus two Tyranitar? Ooh, is they Dynamax. I actually really like that. I actually really like that, to be honest, because I don't have to deal with D-Max Hatterene. Or G-Max Hatterene. I think I might be slower than Conkledur. I have to, I have to check. I'm so bad at looking up this sort of thing. Uh, here it is. So... Let's see what he goes for. My speed is 59, and Conkledur's... Well, I, I also have to decrease my speed. He probably went for Ice Punch if he did that. Max Knuckle? Okay, we're fine. Into the Tyranitar. We actually take that. Let me do some math. Let me do some quick maths. Zero speed Brave Conkledur. At level 50 has a speed tier of 45, so 59, I forget how much it decreases, 59 times 0.75, I believe, is the calc. 44, so I, I, I don't know, I don't trust my, my math, because I always forget which one's slower. I should always be able to Dynamax my, my uh, Togekiss here. And I can attempt a, a lash out for damage on the dust clops. At the very least, I can remove the dust clops. And um, here, I'll just go for Max Airstream since it's my strongest option. And I don't really need to be slower than them because Trick Room will end soon. Maybe I am going to be slower than this thing. That would be amazing if I was actually slower than the Conqueror. Because I, I forget what the multiplier is at minus one. I always forget that. Yeah, because this thing's speed is likely 45, I have 59, and it's cut by a certain amount, and I don't remember what that amount is. There's the Will-O-Wisp, that's fine, I'm still going to get some damage off, hopefully. And... I forget what item the Conkle there is, it's probably Assault Vest, because I wasn't paying attention if there was a Life Orb. Alright, there's the Lash Out, going to be doing some nasty damage. Some respectable damage, we'll just say that. <laughs> Some decent damage. There's the Max Lightning. That's going to hurt so bad. Oh, he just knocked us out. Okay. Well, that sucks. That kind of really sucks. Um, I have Primarina still, but I'm not slower. And also, there is Electric Terrain on the field. That kind of really sucked, man. <laughs> I feel like I could have lived that. I have a lot of uh, bulk. Yeah, I have a lot of bulk in this in this uh, Togekiss. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so bad. Let me um, let me go Rillaboom. Cause that'll remove the Electric Train, and he shouldn't go for it twice. And outside of yeah, outside of uh, Trick Room, I should be able to beat him, but it's gonna be really really annoying. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and go for a high horsepower into the Conkledur, because I think Grassy Glide should do it for Dusclops. 
Or I suppose I should always just high horsepower and grassy glide. Let's see if he has like max ooze, like poison jab, you know? Because that would definitely knock out the um, this Rillaboom. However, this is a very bulky. Okay, well that's annoying. I really wanted to knock this thing out. Grassy glide, do like two damage. High horsepower, do like two damage. Yeah, it's it's respectable. Here's the max flare. This man had fire punch. This man got fire punch. Luckily, his uh, Dynamax runs out this turn. Judging by the fact that he had Max Flare and Max Lightning, that would suggest that his ability is Iron Fist. So I 100% have to wait for this. Uh, <laughs> I 100% have to wait for this. Um, what was it called? Trick Room to to run out for me to do anything. This is so annoying. I would have been in a winning position, I think. Had this uh, thing not crit my Togekiss. The thing is, it's within Moonblast range, but he also has the option to... Um, he also has the option to mock Punch my Tyranitar. But I think what he would always do here is... Go for the Thunder Punch into Pre-Marina. And then mock punch Tyranitar afterwards because it's not a threat. So I'll go for a protect here. And I'm going to try to remove the dust clops from the field. And then I should be able to win. As long as he doesn't mock punch here, I should win. Or ally switch. He pain split. Okay, uh, so he probably just knocked out Tyranitar. Oh no, he didn't. Okay. If he pain split, I mean, like if you didn't go for the mock punch, that means that Tyranitar is fine. Okay. I think we can win this. Thunder Punch? Okay, cool. We might have brought it back. We get some recovery on the Tyranitar. He's still at neutral attack, so that's pretty good. Um, all I have to do is Moonblast into this Conkleder. And I think we can pick up a KO because we're Life Orb. Twist Dimensions return to normal. Now here, um, I'm, in a, I'm in a bit of a tough spot. I'm assuming he has Mach Punch. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this man's got Mach Punch. And his item's probably Assault Vest. I'm going to go for the Protect here. I'm going to go for the Moonblast. Into the Conkleder. Hopefully he Mach Punches here. No, no Mach Punch. Uh, that's fine, I suppose. He might have just Dazzling Gleamed. Pick up a KO. I think we can win this. It's going to be real, real close. If he Trick Rooms on me, I have a higher chance of winning, funny enough. This goes for the Dazzling Gleam. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're Gucci. It's gonna hurt though. Ooh, I didn't like that damage. And that was a crit too. Can this man stop getting lucky as hell? Can he just stop with the luck? That luck is uh, not fun. Alright, I think I should be able to win. I'm a little bit concerned about the, the damage I'm taking with the uh, life orb. I think two Moonblasts will do it. Or at least Moonblast into Hydro Cannon. As long as the sun runs out. But it's going to be close. And I, I think I might actually still be faster than Hatterene. So, let's see. Alright, cool. We won. That was such an annoying game. That, that game annoyed me so much. <laughs> Alright, cool. That Oh my god, I hated that. I hated everything about that. As soon as he crit the Togekiss, I was like, no. No. <laughs> But yeah, the Lash Out Strat. The Lash Out Strat's kind of clean. Alright, we'll continue battling. Can I have Master Ball tier? No? Okay. <laughs> uh, so, I, I think after the next one we should be there. Because I think, like, when you... Because I think the last match I lost, like, prior to this recording. So, I don't know. This is hard trick room with one fast option in the Alakazam. Um, the Rillaboom lead seems incredible. Tyranitar also seems really, 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 really good. I think in the back, I'm going to want to bring Premierina because it deals with a couple of options here. And it also just eats hits in case he decides to go for his own trick room. 
And my last Pokemon is likely going to have to be the Incineroar, because it is able to intimidate a lot of things and switch in on Expanding Force. So, let's go for it. Not going to bring my own Trick Room, just going to Nene him. Hopefully. <laughs> Oh, we get an absolute banger for the music. I like putting on random music because when it plays good music, I'm just like, mm, yes, yes, you know? Porygon 2 and Scizor. Not sure about this lead. TBH. TBH, I'm not sure about this lead. Uh, I should be able to get in my, my, um, my boy. What's his name? Incineroar. I can get an Incineroar here. As he's likely to superpower or maybe even swords dance. But then I get fake out pressure. So he gets the special attack raise. So what I'm assuming he's gonna do is get in a trick room here, and he's gonna go for either a superpower or a swords dance. Or a bullet punch or maybe into this Tyranitar. I don't want to lose my Tyranitar. I could straight up knock out the scissor, but it's not worth risking. Or is it? Let me see. What's uh if it's a slow scissor, what's scissor's base speed? That's not something I'm familiar with. Let me look it up. Scissor's got base 65, so it would outspeed me, so it's not worth the risk. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to U-turn in the Porygon 2 and go hard, hard, hard into my Incineroar. And then by U-turning, I'll be able to get, um, I'll be able to get in something better, you know? It's not worth going for Fake Out, because Trick Room, we're, we're fine with. As he just Swords Dance, I could have destroyed this thing. This thing would have been dead. I'm so sad. I could have absolutely annihilated that. Okay, he's going to trick him up. I do have fake out pressure, which is nice. I should probably go Premier Una here. Because he's going to trick him up. And I'm going to be slower. He also has to focus down the, um, the Incineroar if he wants to win. Or maybe even Ally Switch. If this man Ally Switches, I'm going to be shook. I'm going to be shook as hell. And this isn't minimum speed Incineroar either. This is like a decent speed tier Incineroar. I think we got 20 speed on this. Yeah, we got 20 speed on this Incineroar. So it's going to be faster than the Scizor. He should probably superpower. I gotta Dynamax this thing, don't I? Yeah, let's Max Geyser the Scizor. And that, if, if he like targets into my Primarina, the only thing that can mess us up is an ally switch. I, I'll give it that. Um, if he targets into the Primarina, I'm gonna be really annoyed. <laughs> or no, if he targets into uh, Incineroar, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed. Because this into Flare Blitz, even though we have the rain decreasing the power of Flare Blitz, that should always KO the Scizor. Because I'm, I'm predicting a Dynamax here. If you're gonna Sword Stance the Scizor turn one, you're gonna Dynamax. I think only an ally switch messes this up. Yeah, I'm upset I didn't just go for the lash out play. That would have been so disgusting. His set's likely Swords Dance, Bullet Punch, or Iron Head. Some kind of steel move, a bug move, and then superpower. There's a tri attack. I'm fine with that as long as you don't paralyze me. Or freeze me. Well, freeze wouldn't matter, because Flare Blitz. There's the Max Geyser. So he likely doubled into this Incineroar. Which is fine by me, because this is a two-shot. Watch me underspeed this thing somehow. With the Incineroar. That'd be hilarious. Ew. You're not even minimum speed. That's sad, bro. Bro, this is why you're stuck in Ultra Ball tier. <laughs> no, me too. Me too. But I'm getting out of here. How are you gonna not run minimum speed? How do you? How are you not gonna run minimum speed Scizor in Trick Room? Especially when you Swords Dance like that. Yeah, because was it? Incineroar's got base 60, but I have 20 investment. And if this guy was brave with zero speed IVs, he would have undersped me. That's just sad, bro. I won. Okay, cool. Thanks for the Trick Room. <laughs> to be fair, he did make a questionable turn one play. There's the Azumarill. Uh, I don't even think that's gonna it's gonna win him the game now. Because he could belly drum up. I, I suppose an ally switch could mess me up, but I think it's always in my best interest just to starfall. 
and uh, get out of there. Switch in the Rillaboom. Because then I got Fake Out Pressure, I got everything I need. Jeez, and Cinder's got huge hands. I never realized that. Maybe I have, but he's got disgustingly big hands. And tiny, tiny feet. What's up with that? I kind of feel bad for uh, Decidueye, to be honest, when you think about it. Because, like, Primarina, an absolute banger of a Pokemon. Incineroar, absolute banger of a Pokemon, especially in VGC. And then you just got Decidueye, and he's like, hey, I'm I'm not bad, but I'm mediocre at everything, so just, just choose Rillaboom. <laughs> As he goes for the tri attack, let's see if he belly drummed. Liquidation, that's fine. Because I should just fake out into this uh, Azumarill slot and then go for the Max Geyser in the rain on the Porygon. And fake out the Azumarill, yeah. Yeah, I don't see how this guy could pull it back. Rillaboom's such a disgustingly good Pokemon. Like, it isn't even broken, it's just like, it's just reliable, man. I love this thing. There's the Marowak. I suppose Marowak might have been able to pull it back. This is gonna block the Fake Out, however... Um, yeah, I can just switch in Incineroar to take the hit. I don't even need to switch an Incineroar for Primarina. You know, I can just protect and switch an Incineroar. As that almost absolutely annihilates it. Let me think about this. Um, I think it's always in my best interest just to Hyper Voice here. And switch in the Incineroar for the Intimidate. Uh, because... I don't know. Like He could knock out my Primarina, but I don't think I need it to win at this point. Like I have a lot of really good options versus this team. Rillaboom being one of the best, to be honest. So if I can reset my grassy terrain, I now have priority that I can use to beat the Azumarill. I can probably fake out the Porygon to prevent Trick Room coming up again. As he Poltergeist, that's fine. Pfft. Okay. Alright, good. It was in the Primarina. For a minute, I thought it missed. I keep forgetting that it always tells you the item. As he Ice Beams. Okay, that's fine, because I can always just Flare Blitz to thaw myself. If he does freeze me. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. I got everything I need to win. Send in the Tyranitar. Actually, do I even need to send in the Tyranitar? It's probably unnecessary. Uh, yeah, let's go Tyranitar. It's safer. He's at minus one. He shouldn't be able to one-shot my uh, Tyranitar now. Sandstream comes up. I can fake out into this Porygon and go for the uh, lash out into this Marowak. Er. Lash out can't miss. It's probably better than Rock Slide. Yeah, we'll go for that. And we'll fake out the Porygon for the KO. Because the sand will pick it up if the fake out doesn't. Which it should. I think fake out, even with an Eviolite Porygon, it'll pick it up from this range. There we go. And after this, my grassy terrain will be up for good, which means I always beat a zoom roll. Lash out's probably going to be doing about 70. Eh, like 90. <laughs> 95. Bone Meringue, let's see if he misses. Yeah, okay. It didn't even matter at that point, because you get picked up by uh, Sandstorm damage. Or just Grassy Glide would have won. Alright, so here... Um, I should always just probably double into the Porygon, or double into the Marowak slot, to be honest. I don't see him saving the Marowak. It goes down in the end anyways. Or actually, no, in retrospect, that makes that makes no sense. Because Marowak goes down, I just double into Azumarill, it doesn't matter what I hit. So I'll Rock Slid, and I'll go for the uh, Flare Blitz for damage. Because, uh, regardless, it's going to be Azumarill versus the... Yeah, no, there is no, there is no point in protecting. Regardless, it's going to be Azumarill versus uh, Rillaboom. This might even just KO it. Nah, not quite. The sand will do it if I miss my rock slide. I kind of want to miss the rock slide because it'll be hilarious. 
Oh, okay. I kind of want to miss the rock slide, though. Because I want to see Sand get two KOs at the end of a match. Come on, baby. Miss the rock slide. Miss the rock slide. This is the one time I want to miss one. For style points. Ah, okay. At least we get to see the mirror I could picked up. Okay, tiny bits of sand, do your thing. <laughs> cool, alright. So that was a really awkward first turn, but I think uh, I think we played it well. I'm, I was really surprised he actually <laughs> he didn't have minimum speed on the scissor. Thank you for the comet shard. Alright, um, yeah, let me look at that. What's the scissors? Let me look at this. Yeah, he's adamant. That's why. He's adamant, he has got no speed, but he's probably also not zero speed invest. Or he's also probably not zero speed IVs. Because that would have outsped me. Under trick room, I mean. Alright, continue battling. Let's see. Can I have Master Ball Deer, please? Thank you. <laughs> cool, we did it. It only took me, like, what, five episodes? Alright, first game of Master Ball tier for the season, and <laughs> what is today? Today's the 22nd. Today's the 22nd, so it took us forever. As we're facing a Bulbasaur, who has a Venusaur. Um, I'm going to say the Incineroar Elite is pretty solid. Incineroar Elite is very, very solid, in fact. Um, Premarina in the back doesn't look awful. As long as I can set up Trick Room. Maybe I just go for Auto Trick Room, because I could always just... Follow me, Trick Room, and win. Yeah, the Trick Room option seems best. So, we're going to go Dusclops here. And uh, Togekiss. Dusclops Togekiss allows me to always get up Trick Room. Um, Tyranitar in the back, and Primarina, and that should do it, I think. I think that'll be a that'll be a fine, fine game plan. That is a terrifying card, sir. Alright, Urshifu and Incineroar. As we see, it's Rapid Strike. So, Rapid Strike can't one-shot my Dusclops, which means that even if he goes for Fake Out in the Togekiss, uh, I should be fine to trick him up. We see Choice Scarf and Assault Vest. Okay. So, um... If it's Assault Vest, Incineroar, and Choice Scarf, Urshifu... I almost want to just go hard into the, uh, <laughs> I almost want to go hard into the Tyranitar, but I know that isn't my best play. So let's Trick Room. Okay, for a minute I didn't see the Trick Room. I'm like, wait, where's the Trick Room? I panicked because I couldn't read. Well, just follow me to be safe. In fact, he might not even stay in. Ah, he does stay in. You could have gotten Dazzling Gleam, my friend. There's a Surging Strikes. It's going to be doing a decent amount, but I have a lot of uh, defense investment on this thing. Ow. Ow. I sure hope the next one doesn't crit. Ow. <laughs> Alright, please tell me you Flare Blitz, because you didn't fake out. I would love for Tokus to go down immediately. Oh, yeah. It's time. It's time, man. We're going to Bulldoze. <laughs> or actually, I should just get in Primarina here. Primarina puts on so much pressure. Especially since it's Choice Scarf on that Urshifu. Urshifu is no threat. Primarina time. Okay, so looking at the team, his defensive switch should probably be Venusaur for the Urshifu. Mmm, yeah. Regardless, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp and the Urshifu, as well as this, um, eh, I should probably just Dynamax. Dynamax will mess him up. He's got no counterplay for this. So we'll Dynamax up, go for a Will-O-Wisp into the Urshifu. Unfortunately, we only get to click Lash Out in the first game. <laughs> At least the good Lash Out, you know? The double power. As 
as we land the Will-O-Wisp, incredible. I'm surprised he didn't switch out. He's just going to go for Surging Strikes into this uh, Dusclops, I suppose. And give me both of his Pokemon. <laughs> Pretty much, because he's not doing any damage anymore. I mean, yeah, it's going to be boosted by rain, but it doesn't matter because it's a freaking Dusclops. Ah, so I get the critical hit water move. Beautiful. Goes with the Surging Strikes. I'm going to assume this is going to do about 60% in total. Pfft, I gave him way too much credit. 30%. Yeah, uh, that's a little under, actually. A little under 30%. Take some burn damage. Still got all of my Trick Room turns, pretty much. Well, three of them. Three turns of this disgusting onslaught of damage. There's the Togekiss. Togekiss is about to get messed up, man. Hydro Cannon is not something it wants to take. And, um, it's not safe to go into Tyranitar yet. I don't think so, at least. Because Surging Strikes would still hurt super bad in the rain with the burn. So, uh, I'll just Nightshade for damage into the Tokus And go for another Max Geyser. I'll leave Urshifu alone for now. It's no threat. As he doesn't Dynamax, what? Bro, just make a defensive Dynamax. You got this. You just got Dynamax. Alright, so my next move is going to be Max Starfall into this um, Urshifu slot, and I suppose I always switch into Tyranitar. Because they should just Dynamax whatever they have in the back, right? They're not going to Dynamax this burned Urshifu. Alright, what is it? Is it like Cinderace? Venusaur? It should probably be Venusaur. Yeah, there's the Venusaur. Um, so Tyranitar should win. I'm gonna go hard into Tyranitar here. I'm gonna go ahead and max Starfall into the Urshifu, preventing any sleep. There's the sand. If they have a focus sash, it's gone. As they should probably just G Max. I'm assuming they're G Max Venusaur, which I haven't seen yet. So at least online, I kind of, I kind of want to really face the G Max Venusaur. Please be G Max. Ah yes, the beautiful emo flower. Can we talk about how like G Max Charizard takes on this ethereal form? G Max Venusaur all, or G Max Blastoise also kind of just looks like godly, and then G Max Venusaur looks like a regular G Max if that makes sense, you know? Like just comparatively, like if you look at the designs, like the other two have this aura about them, and then Venusaur is just like I'm big Venusaur. My flower is too heavy; it covers my eyes. There's the Vine Lash. All right, that's fine. Primarina goes down this turn, which is cool with me. Because I think I got one more turn of Trick Room. Alright, cool. Premier Runa goes down. If I got one more turn of Trick Room, I get to click the fun move. Please tell me I got one more turn of Trick Room. That'd be so sick. I haven't been counting at all. Tell me they don't have Protect either. That'd be incredible. It's the Life Orb. <laughs> yes. Please don't protect. Please tell me you don't protect. Let me go for the Lash Out. Let me go for the Bulldoze. It's time, baby. It's time. Don't protect. Oh, yes. Yes. It is your time, Tyranitar. Destroy this thing. End its career. F get, give it a haircut. Give it a haircut, man. Look at it. He needs some vines trimmed. Give it a haircut. See what happens. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so happy. 
I'm so happy we got to end the session like that. That is so satisfying. I love this thing. This is such a fun team. Guys, once again, if you guys want to use the team, the code is at the beginning of the video. I really appreciate all of you for watching. We made it a Master Ball tier, finally, as the season ends in like eight days here. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, do whatever you want to do. Uh, join the Discord, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.